Okay, so now we'll change, let's see, so our pivot is right here. We want to change row 1 and row 3. So it's going to be row 1. Now if this is a 2 and I need to turn this into a 0, then this needs to be a negative 2. And so you'd write negative 2, row 2, store back into row 1. And then this is a negative 8, so this needs to be a positive 8. So it's going to be row 3 plus 8, because again we needed a positive 8, times row 2. Store that back into row 3. All right, let's open up the matrix. All right, now what we're not changing is row 2, so let me just write row 2 back in there. All right, we'll close that off. All right, now let's start the work for row 1. All right, row 1 is row 1 minus 2 times row 2. Store that back into row 1. Okay, so we have, where are we at? The 1 minus 2 times 0 is 1. Then we're going to have 0, I'm sorry, 2 minus 2 times this 1. And that's 0. Again, that was supposed to happen. If it didn't happen, then something's wrong. All right, then we're going to have negative 3, this one right there, minus 2 times negative 5, 6. And that's going to get us 4 thirds. So just plug that into the calculator and then change it back to a fraction. So then 4 thirds. And then we're going to get 8 minus 2 times 19, 6. And that's going to equal 5 thirds. Okay, now let's go on to the third row. Okay. All right, so that was row 3 plus 8 times row 2, and we're going to store that back into row 3. All right, so let's get started. We have the 0 plus 8 times 0, which is 0. Again, that was any, anything that you've changed already won't change back. So these are going to remain zeros for the rest of this uh, row, or for the remaining row operations we have. All right, so again, once you're done with a column, that column is done. It doesn't change. All right, then we're going to have the negative 8 plus 8 times the 1, which gives me 0. Again, that was supposed to happen. Then we're going to get 17. That's 17 right there. Plus 8 times 5, 6. And that's going to give us 31 thirds. And if you put that into your calculator, you're probably going to get a decimal, which is 10.333, so on. But you want to change that back into a uh, fraction. Oops, forgot about the negative right there. There we go. All right, so we're going to get 31 thirds. And then we got the 15 plus 8 times 19 six, right there. And that is also going to give me 31 thirds. So we got 31 thirds and 31 thirds. Okay, we're done with this row operation. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, the next operation is actually going to be pretty simple. Uh, we need to turn this into a 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to multiply row 3 by 3 over 31. Store that back into row 3. So let's see what we get. Now we're not changing anything to row 1 and row 2. So we have 1, 0, negative 4 thirds, 5 thirds, and 0, 1, negative 5, 6, 19, 6, and then 0, yeah, uh, 0. All right, so to multiply 31 thirds by 3 over 31, and you're going to get 1. And then again, 31 times 3 over 31 will also give me 1. 
Okay, so now that we have this a 1, we need to turn these into zeros. Let's go ahead and do that. This is also going to be our last step because once these are zeros, we are done row reducing this side of the matrix. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to have row 1. Okay, now, this is a negative 4 thirds, so I need this to be a positive 4 thirds. So we're going to add 4 thirds times row 3. I'm going to store that into row 1. And then row 2, okay, if that's a negative 5 6, then we need this to be a positive 5 6. So we're going to add 5 6 times row 3, store that into row 1. All right, so let's start our work. All right, so let's do the, the first row. So row 1 plus 4 thirds times row 3. Store that back into row 1. All right. So 1 plus 4 thirds times oops, 0. Again, you don't actually have to do these because these aren't going to change. Okay, so all of these are going to stay just like that. So you don't actually have to go through these, but I still will. So, all right, and then we're going to get the 0 plus 4 thirds times 1. Oops, sorry, not times 1, times 0. And that's, because again, that's a 0. So that's 0. All right, now we have negative 4 thirds plus 4 thirds times, so there's your negative 4 thirds right there, and then times 1. And that's a 0. And then we're going to get our last one, 5 thirds plus 4 thirds times 1, which equals 3. All right, so we're done with the first row, and then let me write in the second row, since we're not Sorry, let me write in the third row since I'm not changing that one. All right, let's go ahead with the second row. So that was row 2 plus 5, 6 times row 3. Store that back into row 2. Now, again, these won't change, so this is going to be 0, 1. This is what we're trying to find, and so is this one. All right, so that would be negative 5, 6 plus 5, 6 times, so it's this and that one, so 1, that's 0. Again, that was supposed to happen. And then our last one, 19, 6, that's right there, plus 5, 6 times 1, and that's, that. that's 24, 6, so that's a 4, and there we go. So we are completely done row reducing. So let's just write out our answers now. Okay, the first line, that says 1x plus 0y plus 0z, which is 3. In other words, x equals 1. The second line, that says 0x plus 1y plus 0z equals 4. So that means y equals 4. And the last row says 0x plus 0y plus 1z equals 1, so z equals 1. And so there is our final answer to our system of equations. Uh, please go back and make sure that these work. Oh, um, that's a 3. Sorry. Um, please make sure that they work. And so that's it. See you in the next video.